Football's love affair with money is not news to you. That the game has become simultaneously obsessed and at certain levels paralysed by its financial endeavours is as frequent a headline in the sports news cycle as events taking place on the pitch. Clubs are bought and sold for the GDP of developed nations, players earn wages that put them in the same tax brackets as movie stars, and further down the pyramid the imbalance in wealth sees century-old local institutions wound up by the tax man for failing to reach the aforementioned levels. Football doesn't just love money, it is money. But while the game is now home to some of the best paid stars in any sport in the world, and naturally the celebrity and cult hero status that comes along with that, the richest footballer on the planet is likely someone you've never even heard of. This is the story of the £16 billion footballer. On the face of it, Chomburi FC seem like an unremarkable club. Spending most of their time bobbing about in mid-table in Thailand's top flight, the Sharks, as they're locally known, have gone some 15 years since last winning the League One Championship, and had their most recent foray into the Asian Champions League end in a 9-0 defeat to FC Tokyo. In fact, in recent years, there's arguably only one thing about them that would register outside Thailand, and that's the identity of one of their players. An American-born winger once on the books of Southampton, Chelsea and Leicester, who has an estimated net worth of some £16 billion. For context, despite their exuberant salaries and lucrative sponsorship deals, it's estimated that Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo have net worths of £500 and £400 million respectively. Roughly 1 40th of the wealth of this man, Fike Bolkier. How? Well, he's the nephew of the Sultan of Brunei, one of the globe's wealthiest people. Located between Malaysia and the South China Sea, the tiny state of Brunei has one of the world's highest standards of living thanks to its enormous reserves of both oil and gas. It is now the fifth richest country in the entire world by GDP per capita. A British protectorate since 1888, which meant while fundamentally a colony it still retained control of its internal affairs, Brunei was the only Malay state in 1963 which chose to remain so. It finally achieved independence in 1984. It was ruled then by Sultan Muhammad Shah, and remains governed by his descendants, the theatrically named House of Bolkia. At its head currently sits this man, Hassanal Bolkia. He is the nation's Sultan, Prime Minister, Minister for Foreign Affairs, Minister for Finance, Minister for Defence, Commander-in-Chief and one of the few absolute monarchs on the planet, but more importantly, the proud uncle of a young right-sided attacking midfielder. Born in Los Angeles, California in 1998, Bolkia was relocated to England at an early age by his father, His Royal Highness Prince Geoffrey Bolkia. His wish was that his son would be raised away from the wealth, the spectacle and the celebrity of his home heritage. Few people he encountered at this formative age were ever made aware of who he really was, and it was in this window of relative anonymity that he discovered his love of football. Educated at Bradfield College in Berkshire, he began his football career with the mighty Walton Hill Argyle before moving on to AFC Newbury as a junior. Despite being small for his age, he dazzled both coaches and watching scouts alike with his control and his skill. He became a fantastic goalscorer with amazing pace, recalls his former coach Paul Morgan. In 2009, he was snapped up by Southampton's academy, but sadly, the winger did not become the next Gareth Bale heading off for trials with Reading and Arsenal prior to joining Chelsea at age 16. There he featured for the under-18s and on more than one occasion was involved in Jose Mourinho's now customary first team versus youth team matches at the training ground. According to his interview in the latest issue of 442, which now you mention it isn't just available from all good retailers, but we have a very special offer for in the description below, Mourinho's input on his career was about positional sense and how he'd sometimes be in the wrong one and switch positions he did, moving from Chelsea's academy to Leicester's, where he signed a three-year pro deal via a trial at Stoke. Any insinuation that family connections had something to do with this deal, being as the Brunei Royals are noted associates of Leicester's Thai owners, are slightly assuaged by the fact that the club took enough of a liking to him to offer a one-year contract extension and featured him in the UEFA Youth League, picking up six full caps and captaining the full Brunei national team in the process. However, again, Balkia wasn't in any danger of threatening the Leicester first team and was lured to Maritimo in Portugal with the promise of first team experience. Finally, his globetrotting has taken him to Chonburi in Thai League One, which is where our story ends. 
Being a number of generations and relations away from ever being likely to assume a political position in his home nation, and his career seeing him fall short of his early dreams of playing in the Premier League, his likely won't ever dwarf those of Messi and Ronaldo in the same way his wealth has. However, there is one thing that money can't buy, and that is the distinction of being the only ever former Woolton Hill Argyle junior to line up for the Brunei national team. And for Fike Bolkier, that isn't a punchline, that is something to be immensely, genuinely proud of.